that will be a key for Mossad, his use of the, the lob. When he is under pressure. What, what's so different as well, Drew Boy, is what we saw with the, the quarter-final where Gawad played Tarek Moman. Tarek Moman is obsessed with taking the ball short, more so than hitting it deep. He's like a back-to-front squash player, and Mossad will slightly starve Kareem Abdul Gawad at the front left-hand corner. He won't be taking many balls Four in short seven, when Gawad is in front of him. He's no, taking it he in there because yeah, he's balanced okay. no. and he can shut him out on the volley. Yeah, and so, and of course, they're incredibly fit, aren't they? So they recover so well so like say if they have a few regular little breaks used wisely then um, it can certainly help with longevity that's a vicious boast it from is a vicious boast it's uh, nine eight whipped in Mossad couldn't even move for that one just losing his length a little bit on this backhand side, Mossad. Which is the last thing he really wants to be doing on the Gawad backhand. Must ha get that line going behind the service box. It's better. Wow. Well, somehow that stayed on the front wall for Mossad. This could be trouble. Well, it's gone Mossad, into the tin. Yeah, he's thundered it in the tin there. Mossad knows it. Straight off court. 11-8, game to Gawad. So Abdul Gawad, King as fresh as ever as he starts this second. I feel that uh, he'll be happier to go short even more now. The younger Egyptian. Well, like that. <laughs> How has he played that? I have no idea. It looks like he's coming in to drive the ball. It's such a high well, swing. So deceptive. Wow, well, that's rapid from Gawad. <laughs> I mean, that's what he's been doing so well. He's been weathering the storm from opponents and then coming straight back at them. Yeah, I mean, he's he's completely changed. I mean, if you, I don't want to jinx anything, and I don't think I will. But I mean, if you. Go back to the match these guys played at Canary Wharf back in 2014, in March. I mean, it was uh, there was up to I think it was 85 decisions. So that is an awesome shot. It wasn't the right? Didn't get the cross court nick. Sat up. Mossad played that beautifully in. Left it a long way, didn't he? So as well. balanced. Yeah. I mean, it was a it was a hit or hope shot really from Kareem Abdul Gawad. Game ball. So the hammer of thought with game ball to. Square it up. Well, Gawad came at him very aggressively. He did, yeah, he held, held the line there too. And it was a quick one too, wasn't it? Poor lob attempt from Mossad and Gawad video ripping it to the back. Trying to up the tempo <laughs> here over Mossad. I love the positivity. Well, yeah, tinned just, it. Yeah, just clipping the top of the tin. Mossad, the frustration so evident from the 11, big man. Game to Gawad. He's got a mountain Gawad to climb. Two games to low. That's ambitious and it worked. Kareem Abdul-Gawad teed that up beautifully. That is a sign of a very confident squash player. It's a good passage of play here from Omar Mossad. Showing his fighting skills and Gawad has got to be careful. Six, well, he's playing the only way he knows how and that is a full out attack. Oh, wow. vicious drive. Couldn't have hit that any harder, Kareem Abdul Gawad. That was unbelievably caved. That was an incredible please. rally. It was. Joey. Brilliant Court rally. Attendance, please. It was like a fast forward rally. It was uh, the racket head speed he got through that one. Oh, 
Oh, that that's a great play shot. That. It's becoming a bit of a trademark where he slips off the tee line, plays the kind of top spin half volley. Down. And there's the squeeze. So Kareem Abdul Gawad manages to. 11-8. Close out the 13, uh, 11, match. 11, Mossad looked a little bit confused there. But uh, in three games, very, very relieved. Kareem Abdul Gawad got a bit shaky in that third game. 61 minutes of high quality squash. Abdul Gawad overcomes Mossad 11 8, 13 11, 11 9. Three games to love.